Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a good old fashioned harvest video. And I think we just did a harvest video like a couple weeks ago, but there is so much to harvest today. I actually made myself a list so that I wouldn't forget everything. So today we still have quite a few spring veggies to harvest. I think it's been a pretty cool spring, relatively a super dry spring, but pretty cool. So the spring things have been holding on for a bit, but we also are starting to harvest some summer things as well. So today we're going to be harvesting cauliflower, broccoli, beets, carrots, zucchini, potatoes, leeks, and I think garlic. So that's quite a list. We're basically going to be going all throughout the garden. And I think we're going to have a pretty good haul today. So let's get started with it. I'm going to show you everything as we go along and we'll see what we end up with. So we'll probably start right up here in this first bed where we have a lot of beets. I want to really try and clear out a lot of these beets today. We've been picking a few every week and we have a lot now that are getting to a really nice size much bigger than last time we harvested. And pretty much all of them are a good size to pick now, whether they are larger like these ones or if they're just like a little bit on the baby beet side like this. So that first side had our golden beets and then on this side we have our red beets. And a lot of these are good to harvest now. I'm really happy with these cylindra beets that I grew this year. You get a lot of edible root because they're longer and then if your beets don't really bulb up, they'll at least like be pretty long. So I feel like you get a pretty good amount of beet per plant. The only thing with these ones is I have to make sure I don't plant them in clusters with quite as many plants as I did this year. So like with these two where there are two beets, it's perfectly fine. You can see they're a nice size. But then I had clusters where I had probably like five or six beets. And as they were growing, they got really like tangled up with each other. Um, so you probably saw last time when we harvested, it was really hard to just pick one beet out of the cluster. And if we like accidentally pull the other beets out, then they kind of dry out a little bit. Like actually this one is kind of soft because I think last time when we harvested, we must have disrupted the root system of this beet a little bit too much. So that one's not gonna be really good anymore. The rest of them seem fine. But yeah, because they're so long, they kind of like tangle up with each other. So I need to make sure I only do like maybe three beets per cluster next time. But other than that, I'm really happy with these. So we're going to just pick whatever we can. And I really want to clear the space out because then I can go ahead and plant something else in here. I think maybe I'll do like a line of carrots all along the edges of the bed. I do have cucumbers growing along the trellis, but even with those growing, there will definitely be space along the edge to have some carrots. So I think that's what we're gonna do after we harvest the beets later this week. Oh, these two just came <laughs> right out. Yeah. Wow, look at those. Those came right out too, I huh? feel like they look like cartoon characters. They, they look eyes really on good. Beautiful. Yeah, I think we could Let's put just them eat them here. a little. And we can plant. Too. Okay. Wow. Look how <laughs> red that is. Oh man, look where his tail broke off. I see his blood. Oh my gosh, look at the end of it. Wow, that's a really nice one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's one. Well, these three already. Three dollars at the store. Wow. A little intertwined, so it's good to get them together. Yeah. Something weird. Broken. Oh yeah, Try. probably another one. Oh, that we picked. Wrapped probably. around it, yeah. We already got all of these beets and the colors are so pretty. In the next bed, we have another crop of garlic that I think is ready to pick. This garlic in this bed I thought was soft neck garlic, but it is very clearly hard neck garlic because they've been forming scapes. And I actually still have some scapes that I need to harvest. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that today. But then I'm also going to try pulling up 
some of these plants and see how the bulbs look because I think the plants are ready to be harvested. So I'm gonna pull out a test one, see how that looks, and if it looks like it's a good size and like these are ready to go, then I'm gonna go ahead and harvest the rest of this garlic crop here, which is not the whole bed, it's only like maybe half of it here. I don't remember how many we planted, maybe like 20-ish of this variety. I'm not sure what the variety is because obviously I thought it was a soft neck and it wasn't. We'll see how that looks once I pull out a test one. said online to just pull the scape instead of cutting it. No, it doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> they lied, it doesn't work. Yeah, you just tell them. So this was the test garlic. I feel like they could use a couple more weeks. It's a pretty nice size, but it just looks like a little bit fresh. It doesn't really look papery, this outer layer. So I'm gonna leave the rest of the patch for a little while longer but I did grab the rest of the scapes. Continuing down this side of the garden, we have our little patch of leeks here. I've been harvesting from this over the last couple of weeks, just here and there. And I'm just going to be going through and seeing if there are any larger leeks to harvest. Since for these leek areas, I did do two leeks per each of my holes for a lot of these. I've been going through and for any holes that have two plants, kind of like picking the larger plant harvest and then leaving the smaller one. So these ones are kind of similar in size, but sometimes you'll get ones where like the difference is more drastic. So I'm just going to go through and see what's a like good eating size. These aren't really like that big right now, but there's definitely still a lot of edible leek on there and I've been enjoying those a lot. So we're gonna pick enough at least for the week. This one here looks pretty nice. Oh, I broke it. Oh, I got him. Just the roots came off. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Okay. I broke this one. I pre-cut it for you. <laughs> but the the bottom part is the part we want. <laughs> no, but just the roots came off. You gonna break it? No, I won't. You broke it. No, I got everything but the roots. <laughs> when I did it, it was not okay. Oh, I said it was good. But it didn't feel it was okay. Where well, I told you it was fine. You gave me confidence to pull this one. So if I break it, it's on me. Everything but the roots. Beautiful. Ugh. Everything but the roots. <laughs> That's what we say, but who knows really. I know. It's like half of it's still in there. You just won't know the difference. <laughs> oh no, I broke it. <laughs> no. You should have been loosening. Yeah, I know. Oh. Everything but the root. Oh, I'm breaking all of them. <laughs> this is terrible. Oh, this is awful. Stop doing it, we'll get the floor. Yeah, some of them, that has already happened. Oh, we also get like maggots or something, like worms in our leeks if we leave them too long. I see this brown spot, so it's better that we get to them sooner. Yeah. Oh, ew. We've got these worms in our leeks, so we're gonna have to pick these sooner rather than later. But we'll just have this handful for now. We'll have to pick through the rest of these very soon. Maybe we skip next year, we don't plant leeks. <laughs> I just planted them because you really liked potato leek soup last year. Mm-hmm. I feel like we used the leeks for something else too. Oh, when I was making the hash browns. Mm. Oh, they were really good in yeah, that. Yeah, we had like a week or two. Well, you can do that because we're gonna have potatoes too. Yeah. 
You remember that though? Mm-hmm. Those are really good. I totally forgot. That was such a moment. <laughs> and then we tried shallots and they were good, but they weren't the least. Yeah. A little too like jammy. The leeks get more crispy. Yeah, they didn't crisp up the same. Yeah, the leeks do get really crispy. They're good. All right, here they are all cleaned up. We broke a few along the way, but that's okay. Plenty to get us through the week. One thing that I think we're pretty excited to do is to go into this potato bed. You can see how the plants have kind of fallen over now and that's a good sign that the potatoes might be ready to harvest. So we're not going to harvest this entire bed today, but what we are going to do is kind of just like dig around the surface of the soil because usually you will have some potatoes at least along the surface. And we're just gonna see if we can get you know, maybe like a handful of potatoes just to enjoy for the week. And we're not trying to pull out the entire plant here, so we're just gonna like move the soil aside. And once you start digging down a little bit, you can see that there is a potato right there. And these potatoes are have very thin skins. They're really nice when they're like freshly dug up. And we are so excited for this. Potatoes are so fun to harvest. So I think this is going to be the thing that we are most excited for in today's harvest video. So yeah, we're just gonna go around, do a little bit of a dig along the surface and try not to disturb the plants too much because we're gonna leave them intact so that any potatoes that are deeper down, they have more time to keep developing. But we'll try and get maybe like a half dozen potatoes or so just so that we can enjoy them for the week. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's a good it's one. It's pretty firm, so. Yeah. Oh, yes. there you go. It does feel a little bigger. But... Nice. Oh, one on top. Oh, oh wow. Oh, there There's go. another. <laughs> wow, much better potato year this year. Mm. Oh, look at him. Oh, I'm taking them. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh yeah. Nice. Like that plant. There you go. Oh. That is a nice one. Nice. Oh, green oh yeah. It's turning green, so yeah. take him. Alright, you can pick one more. Our basket's almost full. Take until I'm done. You get to pick one more. <laughs> We're not picking all of them today. Yeah. Unless you're gonna cook these all this week. There you go. Ooh. Okay. Oh, he's a little small. That's okay. All right, that's that's the last one. Okay. That's the last one. Okay. And in this bed, we also have some carrots that I think we'll be able to pick. And again, I've just been picking a few of these here and there just as I need them. But we'll pick a few here today just to show you. I can't remember what the variety of carrot this is. It's just like a regular orange carrot. It's either muscade or new corota. And we've gotten some really nice carrots. We'll just pick a handful just for the week and then let the smaller ones keep growing. Let me take a sh uh, yeah, second. Yeah, go for it. I'll be already a little loosened by them too. Oh, you're good. Oh, he's a little blunt. <laughs> I'll name him James. <laughs> Maybe that guy. Mm. Yeah. This guy? Yeah, if you can get him. He was just, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, Ooh, yeah. That's a good one. Wow. All right, good one to end on. Yeah. Nice. Oh my gosh, I was like, what is that smell? I forgot I was, I'm brushing up against the dill. All right, this is what we have so far. Our table is getting very full, but we still have lots to pick. So let's get back to it. I think we're gonna skip the kale for today, even though there is a lot of it. It's starting to look a little bit more worn, especially the kale over here. It's not looking that great. The dazzling blue kale still looks great. Although I have been having to pick off some caterpillars here and there. 
but we just don't really need it this week. So yeah, I think we'll skip it. I'm kind of undecided as to how long to leave this kale for the summer. Typically, I pull it out pretty early, but then I'm always like a little bit sad to not have greens during the summer. I still have to decide on that because on the plus side, if I do pull it out, then I have like half of this bed that I can replant with something else. So I have to have a little think on that. But on the other side of this bed, I want to harvest this last kohlrabi that we did not pick last month. And last month, it didn't really look like it was going to bulb up, but it's looking pretty good now. And I think we can harvest this. I'm hoping that it is not going to be too fibrous. This is supposed to be like a white slash light green kohlrabi, but it does have some like purpling on it. And it took a long time to bulb up, so I'm hoping that it's not going to be like really tough inside. But either way, it's a good size now, so we'll harvest it and see how it is. Either way, it needs to come out of the garden, so we'll just go ahead and pick that one. I hope it's not too tough. <laughs> so it's kind of hard to manipulate with though. Now we are in the back part of the garden and we have quite a few like different things to harvest here. So it's going to be really fun. First off in the front here we have our broccoli and I think pretty much the rest of this broccoli is ready to be harvested. We're getting into pretty warm temperatures now so I'm worried that if I leave these for too long they're going to start flowering. So we're going to grab these heads that have formed here. I'm pretty happy with this variety of broccoli that I got from a local nursery. It's called Marathon and it doesn't produce heads as large as Green Magic, but the fact that it produced heads at all I think is pretty good. Here's another one that's a little bit smaller, but we'll go ahead and harvest it. And I'm going to leave these plants intact because I might be doing another harvest of the greens so that I can do like some braised greens like I showed in my last video because we really enjoyed that so I might want to do that again. And also when you leave the broccoli plants intact after you harvest the main crown of broccoli, a lot of times you'll get side shoots as well which you can see on this plant where we've harvested the main one and here's a nice side shoot here which is actually a pretty good size. This is my green magic broccoli plant here. So we're gonna harvest this side shoot and maybe in a week or so after we've harvested these guys they will also produce side shoots. Behind the broccoli I also have some cauliflower that I want to harvest which is really exciting because we've actually never grown cauliflower successfully before this year and you can see I've actually um, I just had a hair tie here that I tied the leaves around the head of cauliflower because this helps to blanch the cauliflower which just means that you're trying to keep it like a little bit more white. It's just an aesthetic thing you definitely don't have to do that but you can see how this broccoli is starting to turn a little bit purple because I didn't wrap these leaves around this crown early enough. You can totally eat it when it's purple but I think most of us are just used to having like a white cauliflower that you get at the store so I wanted to have it look a little bit more like that which is why I wrapped the leaves around. I'm not sure if wrapping the leaves also prevents it from like opening up too soon so I'm not sure about that but I've been going around and wrapping the plants that have started to form the heads and I think this is a really nice one here. Wow okay this one is massive and beautiful. This one I wrapped a little bit earlier so you can see it's still really really nice and white and I just cannot believe how big this cauliflower is because We've just never been able to grow cauliflower before and I'm going to find the variety name and put it up on screen. These plants we got at a local nursery and clearly they know what does really well in our area so I'm really glad that these did so well. Definitely a win for us. I'm so happy that we were able to grow cauliflower that was more than like three inches wide. And I've got another plant here that is just starting to form. We're not going to harvest this one today so I'll go ahead later and wrap these leaves so that it stays nice and white. And that is not it for this row. We still have more things to harvest behind the cauliflower. We have our zucchini plants and we are in zucchini season again. So we've got a few to harvest here. These are some of the earlier ones. So sometimes we have pollination issues a little earlier on. So you can see how this one, it kind of like tapers off at the end, which just means that it wasn't pollinated quite that well. Whereas this one is like a nice uniform width all the way down. And then we've got a yellow zucchini to pick here too. 
So now that these plants are getting started, this is just the beginning of the zucchini harvests. So I'm really excited that the season for that has started and hopefully we're drowning in zucchini again soon. Oh my gosh, we've never had this one this big, so I don't know how you're supposed to pick it. It's so thick. <gasps> wow. wow. <laughs> there you go. Lovely. It's huge. Same size as your head. You look like a demogorgon. <laughs> now you look like a creep. <laughs> Amazing. It looks further away when you fold it behind your head, though. <laughs> Small area. So good. It's really happy. Gorgeous. Yeah. This one's a little smaller. Okay. But still bigger than any other cauliflower we've grown. Wow. Beautiful. Yeah. All right. They're good smokes. Yeah, go for it. So here is the final harvest from today. Definitely really happy with this. It pretty much fills up our entire little table out here. So starting from this side, we have a few zucchini, a nice little basket of potatoes. We have that one garlic that I tested, but we didn't pull out the rest of the patch, but we did get the scapes at least. Then we've got our bundle of leeks. We have our broccoli and cauliflower, and we're just so thrilled with this one cauliflower in particular. It's massive. So, so happy with that. Then we have our beets, the golden and the red cylindra beets. A couple of carrots here. And then I did also end up saving a lot of the greens from the brassicas we picked. And I will be doing some more braised greens, I think, this week, because that was really good last week. And then we have our one kohlrabi as well as just a few random things that we didn't film. Just the very last straggler little things from the spring garden, asparagus, peas, and strawberries. So that's the final harvest for today. This is such a fun time of year when we get like such a mix of different vegetables to pick because we're still getting spring vegetables, but we're also getting into summer stuff. So it's really fun. So that is it for this harvest video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope your gardens are also starting to produce some fun stuff for you as well. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again in the next video.